Hey friends, welcome to day 51 of the 90 day video challenge being brought to you by Broken to Beautifully Blended. And we're looking to start 2020. Oh, I blew it. <laughs> Dang it. Let's do it again. We're looking to start 2020. I said it again because it's the way I'm saying it. <laughs> See, I'm all out of I'm all out of sorts now. I thought I was feeling pretty good and had some mojo going towards the getting it back on track since you ruined it for me the other day. <laughs> this is all your fault. Say it with me, stepping into. We're looking to step in <laughs> to 2020 on the right foot. Yep. We've come from finishing 2019 strong to starting, I mean, stepping, I mean, starting, I mean, stepping I know. into 2020. <laughs> it was going so well, too. <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? Maybe I should make a cue card. Stepping into 2020 on the right foot. Maybe. I should make a bumper sticker. It would only be good for 2020. Or we could do it like a car tag and put a little sticker for the <laughs> the, di the last two digits of the year. We'd have 80 more years to go before we'd have to do a new bumper sticker. Yep. I'm sure there's a million dollar idea in there somewhere. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, we're 51 days in. And so we are clearly on the downhill slide. We are. Are we going to get to the meat of it now? The meat of what? All of the things. With the blended family. Well, I don't, the I fun, don't the know. crazy, the predictable, the unpredictable. Well, the unpredictable is this video. Exactly. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel fine. Oh, you didn't say I don't know. Hmm. I'm learning to say I don't know. Learning not to say I don't know. Yeah. Because when I say I don't know, you go, what would you do if you did know? Well, if I did know, I wouldn't have said I don't know. That's not true. I don't know is a filler. For some people, it is. Some people, it is not. Are you one of those some people it's not? Most of the time. Hmm. I just wondered, you know, because you, you know, have something to say so quickly that if you just go to, I don't know, then, well, okay, slow down, think about it. I typically, if I wait to speak, then I'll say, I don't know. So like most of the time I do respond pretty quickly. If somebody asks a question, if I take a second and think and I don't come up with something right away, then I will say, I don't know. I feel like he's maybe starting to let down his guard just a little bit because we have a friend that they have very similar personalities. And whenever Rockford just kind of lets go, then people are just like, oh, he's mad. But our friend can do the exact same thing. They're like, oh, he's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is the most frustrating <laughs> thing on the planet. I mean, we can literally say the exact same words. And people would go, oh, Rockford is so upset. And everybody's like, oh, that guy's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> he can insult people. Yeah. He can tell them how stupid they are right to their face. And they go, oh, that's so funny. And he's like, no, I'm serious. You're stupid. <laughs> and I walk, by, I walk by in the hallway and go, hey, what's up? And they're like, why are you so angry? Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. But, all right, so tell us what you did today. I went to LeaderCast Women at Meridian, and so I got to go and listen to a bunch of different women talk about taking courage. Lots of different situations. There was ones that I can think of. There was a um, prisoner that was in North Korea. There was a soldier talking about leading her platoon. And then there was another woman that um, was married to wrote Love Warrior, I want to say. So it was good. Got to go and write down some encouragement. Did you take courage? 
I did, and I got a book that on Audible while I was there about um, about gathering. I'll have to look and see what the name of it is, but I'm excited to listen to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a productive day. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. You know what I did today? I I went to work. Mm-hmm. That's about it. I did have lunch today with uh, a former coworker, a guy that I spent a lot of time with over the last 20 years. Uh, used to be called my work wife. It was a little awkward at the time, but it's probably pretty true. I spent as much time with him as I did my wife and anybody else. And, uh, it was good to catch up with him. Uh, I'm certainly thankful for his friendship and, and the relationship that we've had for such a long time. Uh, those kind of things especially with a coworker don't come along very often. Yeah. So, it was a good it was a good lunch. And you went to Qdoba and you got a vegetarian lunch. I did get a vegetarian lunch. Look at him trying to jump off that diving board hey, plant based. I'm not I'm not a big vegetarian type person, but I, I saw some stuff that's pretty compelling. You should tell them what that documentary is. Documentary is called Game Changers, and it talks about the advantages of a plant-based diet over a meat-based diet, simply for the cleanliness of the of the protein. Now, I'm not saying that you can't eat meat or you shouldn't eat meat. I had meat for dinner, uh, but they say that there are some advantages to getting your protein from plant-based material. So, I don't know. I thought about sort of checking it out and seeing what it would do, but we'll we'll see what happens. He's not the cook in the house, so <laughs> he's like, we'll see what happens. Well, it was funny. Normally, these kind of ideas come from my wife. And, and then he calls me crazy, and he has all the kids call me crazy. And so he said, hey, you should look into this. And I said, I don't think so. You should. And then hers <laughs> sort of jump off the deep end. She'll come in one day and go, hey, we have to drink vinegar. We've cleaned everything out of the pantry. Yeah, sure good. she got this thing of <laughs> apple cider vinegar and water and cinnamon. She keeps in the refrigerator. She keeps telling me I should drink it every day. I have a hard time not pouring it down the sink, but whatever. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's not It's not the first thing you look for when you get up in the morning. Yeah. But I don't know. I tell you... Everything is sort of a fad when it comes to diets. You can eat vegetarian, you can eat meat, you can eat all kinds of different stuff. You can stay away from sugar, you can have high fructose corn syrup, you can stay... I mean, it's it's always something. Mm -hmm. But everything in moderation makes the most difference. Exercise and moderate what you eat and you'll be in good shape. Well, and... I will say, this is one thing that I will say that is not probably a fad. If it's processed, it's probably not good for you. And even in moderation, you know, we looked at the fed up. That's whenever we started cutting out the sugar. And I make a very awesome, which I can attach the link. It's not my recipe, but I make the um, homemade spaghetti, which is really very good. And you can even do spaghetti squash for the noodles that makes it super healthy. And if you use ragu or prego, however you say them, like we used to use, it's like three days worth of sugar in one serving. Yeah, it's crazy the amount of sugar and stuff. Yeah. But. And the problem is, is who eats one serving? Well, in America, nobody. Exactly. So, uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to get off the nutrition bandwagon for a bit. And we're going to get on to day 16 of the Draw the Circle Prayer Challenge. And today was Lord Surprise Me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he comes from the John 3, 8, and the paraphrase of the verse is, the wind blows wherever it pleases. You ever ask the Lord to just surprise you? Mm, not really. I don't. My... my my thought was when I first read this, it's sort of like you said yesterday, coincidences. Mm-hmm. The more you pray, the more the coincidence happens, but yet it's not really a coincidence. 
Um, so I don't know that I've ever really just said, hey, Lord, surprise me with something. So, interesting. So, he talks about being in a staff meeting where they they specifically said that. That was their, the gist of their prayer meeting was, Lord, surprise us. Um, he said, we have to trust God's timing, but that prayer was motivated by a genuine desire to see God do something unprecedented, something that superseded our plans, something that we could not take credit for or control. Now, I can honestly say that I'd like to see that happen. I'd like to see God do something so radical in what it is that we are involved in that we cannot even grasp the goodness of it. Mm-hmm. And I think you have to be a noticer, just like you know we read a few days ago, being a first-class noticer. Because we've had plenty of surprises that God has surprised us with over the last 11 years that we've been paying attention to that it shouldn't be a surprise. We should be saying, Lord, surprise us. You know, we can name off dates. I can name March 18th, 2015. Let's be clear. I can we name... can't name off dates. I can't remember <laughs> what happened on my birthday. but So March 18th, 2015, there was a divine appointment that happened right across town. And then uh, about a year and a half later, there was a phone call that was needed right on time. And then on August 23rd of 2017, with another person in the room, there was a call and that this is what God told me to tell you. And it was exactly what needed to be said. And there is thing after thing after thing that God has said, right here, this is what's going on. And we're amazed in it in that moment. And then we just kind of forget. Yeah. We don't focus on that glory that we should be telling everybody this is what God did and so I don't know why we don't just say Lord surprise me because there is I know that you know it and I know it there is a movement that God has going with blended families and there's a lot of unchurched that's the word blended families because they don't feel like they belong They feel like they're judged. They feel like they can't even fathom things being different. So. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, the only thing I can predict with absolute certainty is this. The more you pray, the more you will experience holy surprises. I don't know if I'm if I'm completely open and transparent and honest. I don't know that I can recall any situations that I've had that have been similar to some of those that you were mentioning. So the the phone call out of nowhere or the big surprise, you know, job change or job appointment or whatever the case may be. And I don't know that I haven't. I'm just saying I don't recall it that way. Um, well, and I think that's what you know, we've talked about for a long time is the difference in our perspective. Because I am always looking for what's the good in this? What's the, how can this be used? What is, you know, what's going on here? Where does this tie in? And you're like, it's just this thing? Just leave it. Now you're getting a little bit more like, Oh, and here, and here, and here. Hmm. Interesting. Is it interesting? Mm Mm-hmm. God always has a holy surprise up his sovereign sleeve was the the main thought for today's little circle thing at the end. Yeah. I think God always has surprises. I really do. Now, maybe my perception of it is different. Maybe the way that I see it is different. Maybe I'm a little bit more stubborn. Well, let's do a a John Mulaney reference. So I think that a lot of people have the view that their dad, their God, is the one that their Heavenly Father pulls up to the drive-thru at McDonald's and orders the black coffee and drives away. 
what about us? Don't we get anything? But what he's calling us to do is he's like, hey, kids, you want to go on an ice cream run? And we're like, yeah. Because if we say to our kids, hey, you want to go on an ice cream run? And they're like, eh, whatever. Or they don't move. Then we're like, fine, then we're not going on an ice cream run. And there it says there are things that he won't do unless you specifically ask him to do it. (laughs) And so if we say to our kids, Who's up for ice cream? We may be like, I just asked the question. They're like, no, we're getting ice cream. We want ice cream. Let's get ice cream. All right, let's go get ice cream. And we go. But I think there is a whole lot of people that have that mentality that they're just along for the ride and God is going to get his coffee and we're going to just sit back and there's not going to be any flavor to it. There's not going to be any substance to it. We're just going to the destination that he's taking us to. But that's not what he's called us to. He's called us to a life abundant. Mm-hmm. Prayer moves the heart of God. I mean, it, mm-hmm. we've learned that. And so we have to be active in what it is that we're praying about and what we're actively seeking God to do. So, Lord, surprise us. I'd like to move deeper into that. So, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is do not delay. Okay. So, don't delay hitting the subscribe button for this channel. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. Hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Check out the Facebook page again if you're doing the 40-day prayer challenge with us. Jump on the the Facebook group and let us know that you're in there with us, that you're hanging with us. Uh, and then we will continue to do these and we'll see what happens. Don't delay. Don't delay. And then let's see if the Lord surprises anybody. So, all right. Okay. Is it my turn to go first? Sure. Today is the 21st. Mm-hmm. Um, I am thankful that um, we were able to, um, my broker and I were able to go to a, a event today that we were able to meet different women and learn little nuggets of things that will allow us to help other women. That's good. I'm thankful for lunches like I had today. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to see my friend and catch up. And so. I'm thankful for days when you can sneak away and catch a long lunch, and it's a good day. So, Okay. All right. We'll be back tomorrow, day 52. We'll be here to finish strong on the week, get into the weekend, and see what God's got in store for the weekend. I don't have to work on Saturday, which will be good news. I'm not sure what's going on this Saturday. I feel like... Something should be going on. It's the beginning of Thanksgiving break. That's true. Kids will be out of school all week next week. Mm-hmm. that would be good for them. So, all right. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>